Гениальный японский ученый поддержал движение «Россия-2045». В ноябре в Москве побывал Хироси Исигура, один из самых известных в мире ученых в области кибернетики и робототехники, создатель первого человекоподобного робота под названием «Геминоид». В ходе своего визита профессор Исигура встретился с участниками общественного движения России 2045 получившего широкую известность благодаря своему технологическому плану, состоящему из трех важнейших этапов. Проект «Аватар» представляет собой разработку антропоморфного робота, управляемого посредством нейроинтерфейса. Проект под названием «Тело Б» предполагает создание системы жизнеобеспечения мозга и системы его коммуникации с внешней средой. Проект «Ребрейн» представляет собой создание компьютерной модели мозга и психики человека методом обратного инжиниринга и разработку способа переноса личности на искусственный носитель. Перечисленные задачи представляют собой системно организованный сверхпроект, который, по мнению участников движения, способен привлечь к участию в нем лучших специалистов, общественное внимание и дополнительные инвестиции в российскую науку. В беседе с участниками России 2045 изобретатель отметил, что не только считает реальными цели движения, но и готов к нему присоединиться. Мы предлагаем вашему вниманию видеозапись интервью с гениальным японским ученым. Um, the idea is to understand what is humans by building android, right? So actually, we, we can transmit our presence to the distant place with the geminoid, and then you know that we can touch to the very, very philosophical question: what is the presence of a human? And, In a world, you know how we can separate and body and mind, uh, you know. So, um, so that is uh, my purpose, you know. The, w w that is why I'm studying the, uh, you know, teleoperated android. Now, probably, well, we're gonna start with uh, um, the application in the hospital, and well, you know, the, if we get old. Right, we need to stay, stay in the hospital, but uh, still, you know, the, well, for example, a teacher, well, you know, the, the, well, for example, the, I, I want to teach a class by using a geminoid, right? Yeah. So it's possible, right? You know, so that kind of uh, the uh, support, uh, support of elderly, of elderly teachers, you know, that, that's going to be a very practical application, I think. <laughs> Uh, right now we are using uh, the uh, well, uh, just the cameras and the microphones for controlling a robot. But in the near future, we're going to use the brain-machine interface or brain-computer interface technologies uh, to control the robot. And and then you know the our technology is going to be uh, very similar to the the technology that you have seen in avatars and surrogates, right? But but well, I'm not sure that when we can do that because the uh, you know brain signal is uh, so weak. I'm not sure about that. You know, still it's illegal, and especially in Japan, we cannot do that, right? We, we, we can do that kind of things for the, just the patient. And I'm not sure in Russia and the U.S. You know, they, well, if uh, it is the illegal or not. But um, in Japan, it's impossible right now. You know, we need to change the law. But in the near future, it's that possible? You know, if we want, you can you can have an implant and directly control the geminoid. I think so. You know, I want to. I want to do it by myself personally. Yeah, I think I am quite interested in that, right? And actually, you know, the uh, well, human brain is the best interface for controlling the robot. It's obvious, right? We don't like. We don't like to use the uh, display and the keyboard and the mouse. And it's troublesome, right? You know, that we want to have just a direct control of a robot. That is a new possibility, right? So every day the, you are changing your clothes, and uh, you know, and for the women, women also, you know, they are doing a little bit of different makeup, right? So we try to be a different person, the person every day, right? So you know, Gemini and the surrogate, it's an extension of that kind of uh, dressing and the makeup. And, and and then you know that we can have a, the the large the, the possibilities to be a different person. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Actually, you know, I did, well, you know, you don't know that I did the plastic surgery. And I became younger. Now, you know, the, my age is the same as a geminoid. <laughs> Well, the probably, you know, it's better to use a geminoid forever, right? You know, we can keep it younger, right? You know, you know, we, we, we don't need to, the, the, well, uh, the worry about to get old, right? The geminoid is always young. That is much better. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, the geminoid is all, all, always healthy and, you know. Soon, right? I'm ready for that. Personality is, you know, the, the, well, the, for example, the, my small behaviors, right? You know, doing like this, or, you know, that, this is also the, you know, the, a part of a personality, then, the, you know, we, we made a copy of that, right? And you know, so, well, it's definition about the personality. Now, if you can clearly define in the personality, you know, the computer programmers, or the, we, you know, we can completely trans, you know, implement that idea into the Geminoid, right? <laughs> so, the robot is a robot. You know, it, this is a simple extension of a computers, right? You know, I don't see any difference the, between the computers and the robots. You know, we, we, we just accept the computers and we're going to accept the robots. But the robot is a robot. You know, if we want, we can turn off the switch at well, any time, right? You know, and if you afraid the, the computers, you know, we have to afraid the robot, right? But the, what is the difference between a computer and a robot? You know, and the, com and the computer plus sensor and actuator, that is a robot. Yeah, well, you know, the, the robot want to help us very much, you know, especially in Japan. We want to have a uh, you know, huge number of elderly people, and elderly people need to have help by machine, right? And the robot is going to take a very important role for helping elderly people. That, that's obvious, right? Um, but the consciousness, consciousness, that is a completely different story. Do you think that the computer has a consciousness right now? But, you know, the once we stop the computer network, so can, can you guess what's happened there? Right? You know, for example, the bank. Bank, you know, the, we are controlling the, you know, the, the banking systems by using a computer network. The once we stop the computers, you know, so many people that lose the money and so many, many people that maybe going to have a suicide, right? Mm -hmm. The computer system is controlling our life already. Yeah. Yeah. Right? We cannot ignore the you know, computer network. Right? The same thing has happened for the robot, right? You know, as I say, you know, the, the robot is a simple extension of a computer. If you, you know, you, if you think a computer system is controlling our life, that means that the you know, robot is also, you know, the, the, the going to control our life. I don't see any difference. I don't think so. And we have some beauty about uh, how to die, you know. So the, your question is how to survive in this world. But in Japan, so our question is how to die. You know, that is a Bushido, you know, the, in the samurai spirit, right? So that, uh, you know, we don't care. So, I mean, personally, I don't care so much about, uh, you know, the how to live, but I just care about how to die. You know, I'm always thinking the, my final moment. <laughs> The law about the uh, medical treatment is uh, it's quite uh, the uh, well um, delayed mm -hmm. comparing with the U.S. and other countries. Strict. Our law is uh, quite strict, and we cannot have an uh, implant easily, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And for the robot, I don't know so much about that.
Yeah, you know, that is uh, what I want to do there, right? You know, yeah. You know, so that yeah, is uh, my purpose. Page, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> All right. If you like, you know, I will come here. Oh, the vision of immorality, immorality cooperation. Yeah, well, I think, uh, you know, the basically, well, um, I think this is the one possible way for, you know, the how to use a robot technologies and uh, the someday that we're going to develop a very human-like avatars and then, you know, we, well, we uh, transfer the, you know, the brain activities into that robot and, and, uh, we, and then, you know, the people, uh, try to survive the forever. So that is, that is the one possibility of a robot technology as well. I think, uh, you know, so we're thinking of the very similar things and, <laughs> you know, we can, we can do something together.